You're watching Let's Chat. Always something fun and exciting to do down in the carpet capital. And there's big things as we get into spring happening in Dalton with the Creative Arts Guild. They're kicking off their 2019 concert series. And Charles E. Etheridge is here to talk about that. Charles E., good morning. Good morning. All right, before we get into the who's and the what's, tell us exactly a little bit about what the Dalton Creative Arts Guild is and what okay. you do. Um, well, I am the concert director. Mm -hmm. It's my official title there. Um, Which means you do a little bit of everything. Which means absolutely. Yeah. I, I take care of a little bit of everything. Um, so it's a nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. and we offer classes in art, gymnastics, dance, ballet, music. Um, but in addition to that, we also host community festivals and events um, mm -hmm. about four or five times a year. Right. Um, and adding to that is this new in concert series, uh, which this year we are featuring songwriters. Uh, last year we did more of a full band mm -hmm. uh, that we featured for eight months right. and uh, in the Americana vein. All right. This is kicking off coming up this Friday, the Ides of March, starting at seven at the Creative Arts Guild in Dalton. Who's going to be the lead off performer on this? Uh, well, so. Um, we actually started the series back in January, mm -hmm. um, so this is our third show of the series, and Miss Abigail Flowers will be with us. And Abigail um, is just a really great jazz vocalist from Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. um, but um, she is actually a singer-songwriter as well, and she also plays the ukulele. So that's a very different <laughs> twist. Yeah, so it's great to hear her do these kind of jazz-inspired, right. you know, sultry songs on a ukulele. I think we have a piece of video that we're going to uh, show you a bit of featuring Abigail as Charles and I continue our discussion. And you're going to do this all the way through... May. All the way through May. Yes. And again, you're focusing primarily on the songwriting aspect of entertainment, which most people think writing a song is easy as ABC. Right. It's anything but. Exactly. Exactly. And um, songs, they just, uh, they tell stories mm -hmm. and uh, they're oftentimes very, very personal. Um, so it's really great to hear these individual artists tell about what inspires them right. and, and what inspires e each song and how that comes to, to be. And a lot of times these songs are very much misinterpreted, whether it's lyrically or the whole meaning of the song itself. And from what I understand, Abigail does a little piece in a lot of her shows about that very fact. So how did you pick Abigail Flowers? What, well, what did actually, you see in her that you went, yeah, that's who I want? Well, um, I actually met Abigail a couple years ago at the Barking Legs Theater here in Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just happened in there on a Wednesday evening. And from the moment she opened her voice, I was just amazed. Right. And so I knew that I wanted to have her in Dalton at some point. You so. knew she was the one. Yeah, she, she was really, she was just really great, mm -hmm. captivating. And uh, I, I see a lot of performers sure. and um, she definitely grabbed my attention. And it seems like every songwriter, they can write the same or a similar genre of music, but they are all so different all the way down to the core. Song, songwriting is obviously part art. It's part science, and there's a lot mm -hmm. of luck involved in this. Absolutely. So uh, she's going to be doing a show. How long is the show going to last? And give us some more of the specifics of sure. her performance. Yeah. Uh, so the show starts at 7 p.m., mm -hmm. and that's at the Creative Arts Guild, which is 520 West Wall Street in Dalton, Georgia, in the Jonas Performance Hall there. Right. And it goes from 7 till 9. And uh, guests are welcome to bring, you know, a picnic dinner or mm -hmm. wine, whatever they would like. Right. We do have adult beverages there for sale. Uh, Jim General admission is $10, mm -hmm. senior citizens $8, and all students, college and K through 12, are only $5 admission. And looking further down to the end of this uh, concert series, you're going to have different genres of music that are going to be featured, correct? Yes. Um, for instance, the first person that we had this year was um, uh, Amanda Williams, mm -hmm. and she is more of the kind of new rock 
country vein, right. definitely with it, an older influence, uh, but she moves more into the contemporary uh, country mm -hmm. vein. Um, last month we had Paul Childers, right. um, which is definitely a, a soul and Big blues, name. rock, pop. Big yes, name. he is. And uh, then this month with Abigail, with the jazz influence. Um, is it too late to tell us who the next performer is going to no, be? No, not at all. Next month we're actually featuring um, all of Dalton, well, not all of mm -hmm. Dalton, but a, a few people from the oh, Dalton good, area. Good. So Ben Honeycutt, uh, who was on American Idol, um, lives in Dalton, Georgia now. Right. And Earl Bracken, uh, who is a bluegrass guy mm -hmm. and member of Spatial Effects Bluegrass, right. and myself, we'll, we will be performing. You're going to be playing. I will What's be, your yes. Um, I play piano and guitar. All right, look forward to that. Charles e. Etheridge, thank you so much for continuing to increase the already uh, blossoming musical scene and the uh, work you guys do at the Creative Arts Thank Guild in so Dalton much. is simply spectacular. Check it out for yourself. If you would like more information, all you have to do is go to their website, which is creativeartsguild.com. Again, creativeartsguild.com.